I'm happy to announce that I finally reopened my small shop where I'm finding homes for my tiny clay pieces, art prints, stickers, and more. I know that most people like to show the most successful parts of their business to inspire others, but I'm going to be fully transparent and show you the less glamorous parts because realistically, most artists are like me and don't get hundreds of orders or even a hundred orders. And I want to encourage those people. Rather than a booming biz, which is something that not everyone gets, I hope what inspires you today is my vulnerability, which is something that everyone can have and can encourage each other in. So I don't look my best because I've been staying up until 4 to 5 a.m. this week just trying to set up my shop. I also have a day job so sometimes you just have to burn the midnight oil. Um, I'm three minutes until shop opening time. I'm very nervous and hopefully everyone who wants to adopt one of these clay pieces will get to get what, everything that they want. Okay, I'm gonna take it off of maintenance mode. It's time, okay. It's live. Yeah, it's live, yay! I'm so excited. Here's a bit of packing ASMR as I prepare this order for my friends Michelle and Brian. The clay pieces are very unique, so each one comes with an adoption certificate. I package each piece quite snug, so there's no room for them to shake around in transit. Here I'm packing a sticker order, which I love to pack because, at least the way I do it right now, it feels like I'm preparing a confetti of cute things. I also write a thank you note to everyone who supports my small shop. And here I am preparing some art prints, which are also some of my favorite things to pack because art prints, illustrations, they're my pride and joy and the foundation of Yapani doodles. Every package will come with slightly different packing material because I sometimes recycle and reuse the peanuts as long as they're clean because I want to be good to the environment. One day, if my small biz grows, I hope to have more customized packaging. I also package the shipping box quite snug and do a shake test to absolutely ensure there's no room for the items to shake around. This is it. These are all the orders for my first weekend. Usually I get the most orders when I first launch, so after this I probably will get a lot less. But thank you so much to anybody who made an order. There are a few new pieces I'd like to highlight because they have a little bit of a backstory. First is this Magic Sea Cave print. It is kind of like a sister piece to one of my most popular prints, Magic Greenhouse. Then we have this print called We're Not Alone, which is derived from a comic that I drew. It says, I know it can be scary to explore the unknown, but it helps to know we're not alone. I drew this at the beginning of the year because I knew some personal tough things were up ahead and I had a lot of anxiety about it. The core message is, although the future can be daunting, it helps to know we're not alone because everyone who has loved you into being who you are, both past and present, are with you. We also have a sticker that says grow good thoughts and another one that says nurture good thoughts and they're both important messages so they come together as a set. There are even more things that I haven't shown here but you can discover them in my small shop. If I'm honest I'm going to miss these little clay friends a bit but I'm happy that they're going to good homes. I'm also proud of my other new products, especially the ones with positive messages such as celebrate your wins, which is what this video is all about. Thanks for spending time with me as I pack orders. Remember to celebrate your wins, both big and small. Till next time! So right now I'm checking and it's 11 minutes past launch time and I didn't sell out of all of my clay pieces within like the first 8 minutes like I did last year, but that's understandable because uh, last year I had a few less pieces, this year I have a few more.